Good day, brethren. You are welcome to RCCG New Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotion. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboe. I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, 12th May 2024, we'll be looking at the topic, Accessing Through Hope. Our memory verse is taken from Romans 5 verse 5, which says, And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Our text is taken from Romans 5 from verses 1 to 9, which says, Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace through God, with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into his grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but with glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commended his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we have been, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Our passage says, One of the ways the devil attacks and hinders God's plan for people's lives is to lead their hearts into a state of hopelessness. It is unfortunate that some people in the church today have yielded to the devil's devices and are living a life that is full of hopelessness. In Ecclesiastes 1 verse 1 to 14, we see the richest and wisest king in the world speak with a tone of depression and loss of hope. This tells us that money, power, and all the material things of, of life cannot give anyone joy and hope. Those who allow the deceitful pleasures of sin to erode the love of God from their hearts will one day look at themselves and feel empty. This was what happened in King Solomon's life as we see in 1 Kings 11 verse 3. It says, And he had 700 wives princesses and 300 concubines and his wives turned his heart away the bible warns us in hebrews 3 verse 12 that we should take it lest there be let there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living god solomon departed from god and his life became empty even though he was a rich king so one of the ways the devil attacks and hinders God's plan for his people is to create a state of hopelessness in their hearts, a state in which they give up on everything, a state in which they don't see a way out, a state in which they don't see a way forward. It's a state of hopelessness. And um, as children of God, we are not supposed to be hopeless. We have God in our corner. We have God on our side. We are not supposed to be hopeless. And an example is being given of King Solomon, who was the richest and wisest person ever on record. Talking in Ecclesiastes, he was showing signs of depression. He had everything. He had um, everything at his beck and call and at his disposal, even to wisdom. Yet, he was speaking with a tone of depression, especially in um, Ecclesiastes 1 from verses 1 to 14, where he said, everything is vanity, everything is smoke, everything is vapor. You know, nothing makes sense. He was speaking with that tone. And one of the reasons we could see for that happening in his life was because he had so many wives who turned his heart away from God. He had so many, uh, um, he, had, he had aligned himself with people, with ungodly women who turned his heart away from God. And um, that resulted in him um, being in a state of hopelessness. There is no joy or satisfaction in having material wealth and losing your connection with God. Mark 36 says, What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? Money and fame cannot give you hope. Only Christ in you can give you hope for a better tomorrow. With Christ, you not only have high hopes for your future here on earth, but you also have an assured future in eternity. If you have Christ, hold on tight to him because that is the greatest possession you will ever have. Second Peter 1 verse 3 says, According as the divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. If you have backslidden at one point or the other, do a self-examination, identify where it all went wrong, and go to God in genuine repentance. You should also ensure that you seek help from other believers around you. 
Never be too proud to speak to someone that can help you regain your connection with God. If your heart has been turned away from God, I pray that He will restore your connection with Him and take away every feeling of hopelessness you might be experiencing in Jesus' name. Amen. So, money and fame cannot guarantee you hope. In fact, you have many celebrities, you have many billionaires who live in a state of hopelessness. They have everything. You have political leaders. You know, they have everything. They have power. They have influence. They are famous. They have money. But yet they are hopeless. Yet they are depressed. Yet they have mental health problems. Because it is only Christ that can truly give you hope. Money cannot give you hope. Fame cannot give you hope. Only Christ can give you hope. Because when the chips are down, Sometimes money cannot save you. Money cannot help you. Um, Fame cannot save you. Fame cannot help you. Power cannot help you. Only God can help you because God is the ultimate. So if at any point in time you feel you have backslidden, you've looked at yourself, you feel you have backslidden, you've given your attention and time and focus and love and affection to all these things in the world, trying to be famous, trying to be influential, trying to be powerful, trying to gain to, uh, gain, gain wealth. And we have turned these things to idols in our hearts. And these things have turned you away from God. This is the perfect opportunity to turn to God in genuine repentance, ask God for mercy, ask God for forgiveness, seek the help of other genuine believers around you so that you can get back on your feet and you can have hope restored to you. And I pray that God will help you and restore your hope as you do so in Jesus' name. Our reflection says, re-examine your life. Do you prioritize God above all things? The Bible says we should seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all these things, all other things, fame, wealth, power, everything will be added to you. But God must come first. God must be priority. All other things don't guarantee you a hope of a better tomorrow. I pray God will help us as we put this to us in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your word that has come to us. We ask, Lord, that you help us to put you first, to prioritize you in the name of Jesus. Because you are the only true hope. You are the only way we can access true hope. Lord, help us to place you first and center in our lives in Jesus' name. And as many of us that are backsliding, that are giving our attention and priority to other things in this life, Lord, turn our hearts back to you and restore us and accept us again in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.